So I am inside of Substance 3D Designer. Now I'm gonna first make a new graph, which is File New Substance. And most of the time, like always, I start with PBR Metallic Roughness. And the graph name, you can do anything. I'm gonna give it zero one maybe. Leave everything as default and hit OK. Okay, so it creates six materials, but I only need this four. Now this normal map. Just drag that and drop into Substance Designer, like here. And it says link resource or import resource. I'm gonna do import resource. And now it is imported. I'm gonna replace this one with this. So just drag connection from here and connect here. And just delete this one. Now this is really small, the detail or the scale. So to make it visible, I'm going to first select this connection, hit space or tab, and I'm going to go with transform 2D node. Inside this node, in the specific parameter, I'm going to go here, just click like this. Yeah, now I can see the detail. And I really like this normal map, it is amazing. Now, the normal map is done. Now, come to the roughness part. I'm going to delete that and add uniform color and just drag it like this now the black means it's full roughness and on the other side just make it gray and other side the white means it's full it's not smooth it's rough and it's smooth like this or yeah you get the point you know stuff the fabric material doesn't look like this right of course not so i'm gonna go and right now make it full white i'm gonna add a noise you can add any noise, but I'm going to add here sports 3. And I'm going to blend that to this. And in the opacity of the blend, I'm going to just drag it down so I can barely see the noise. Just don't overdo it. If you just do it and just plug it like this, it will look a little odd, as you can see here. Something so I can barely see the noise. Something like that. And in the uniform color of the main color, I'm gonna go just a little bit, not too much, a little bit. So I have this kind of details here. I don't know if you can see it, but something like this. Roughness is done. Well, the metallic. I know the fabric doesn't have any metallic properties, but adding a little bit of metallic it helps. Not very much, but it does a little bit. I'm gonna add another uniform. Drag it to this. This is full metallic. I don't want that. Just a little bit. Or if you are a bit precise, you can copy that with Control D, blend them together. This and this. And pass it a bit. Just like this. It should, I mean, don't make it white. It should be a little bit black. Something like that. And you can just plug it like that. You cannot see any, any huge improvement, but it really helps a little bit. So I think I'm going to add a little bit more. This. Too much, but a little bit. There you go. So one thing to note when you're working with Substance Designer, there is no specific value, like nothing. You just have to play with it and just see, make it like your way. I hope you understand. Now, I'm going to just delete those because I don't need them. Main thing, which is the base color. I'm going to delete this uniform color and add gradient map. It's always better to have a little bit of gradient effect than just plain color. So Yeah, it will really help. Now, in the project file, I also provide this image. This is just for reference. So, if you have a pure ref software, just drag this image on pure ref and it will look something like this. So, this is just my reference of the dress of the fabric pattern. So, in the gradient map, I'm gonna go with here. Make sure it's color, not grayscale. I'm gonna go with gradient editor, pick gradient. So this is a cool thing in Substance Designer. I can just drag that to get all the gradient that 
is just over this thing so yeah something like this but i want be like this here so yeah it's always better to have a little bit of gradient than just plain color i never go with plain color in in base color just drag and drop it there you go you have a base color now this is the main dress color now i'm gonna reference this circle thingy just get another gradient zoom it so i can create an editor big gradient drag it like this so it's not pure white it's a little bit bluish so i just cannot drag like this it will make everything yeah what i'm gonna do i'm gonna first make shape the shape of course shape which is by default is pattern i mean square shape you can see i'm gonna make it disc so it's like this so i'm gonna blend that this one with this one but this is the mask or the opacity i'm gonna just drag that opacity into this and there you go so this is the main dress color and this is the color of this gradient all right now i can see the pattern not like this so here comes the tile generator my favorite type tile generator and this one tile generator. and by default this is on break I'm gonna go with image input. I don't have any image input, but I will add the image input. This shape and here the image input. Like this. Amazing. No, just play with the value. Be seven by seven. And as you probably know, this is really big. This is really small, so I'm gonna make it small. Oh, very simple. Just select this transform double click here to see it single click here to manage the properties and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna make it small but you can see a little problem why because by default it's tiling where i'm scaling down or up it's tiling i don't want so in the base parameter of the transform 2d i'm gonna go here tiling mode select this drop down and set absolute and from this i'm gonna go no tiling and as you can see this is good um by the way you can just double click to see in the tree window and single click to manage the parameters yeah i think this looks okay now just drag this onto this there you go and then just drag that into the base color something like this now it looks like a disk the ludo this but honestly when i will import it in pro 3d i will make this like something like this so if you have this kind of drapey fabric it will really help analyze your material and substance but if you don't i also provided it in my project file just go and download that that's simple no need to just download just drag and drop inside of here maybe here in the package doesn't matter where click and you can see this cloth test i'm gonna just drag and drop here so see a little bit clothy thing which is better than the cube now to see these this I'm gonna right click view output video view and there you go but i think i messed up a couple of things which is first the scale of the normal map as you probably remember i just added this transform 2d to visualize i don't need this just drag this like this and now i think the circle should be smaller and there there should be more circle so go transform 2d first i'm gonna make it small by the way you can see in see it in real time and here i think i will go for 13 by 13 15 by 15 there you go i think i think i should make it a little bit bigger well this is very very simple pattern in that of substance designer really there is no limit of what you can do basically this this is my limit i cannot think beyond that because i'm still learning as i said there's a cool thing or cool software that adobe provides which is substance player well if you don't have just google it substance player download it's free lightweight then download it 
install it so first i'm gonna save it so yeah i'm gonna save it first and then click here and it says save and open selected package in substance player so i'm gonna select this package and i'm gonna click here it will automatically open the substance player software with this texture there you go it's yeah it's great so now the output size is 512 i don't want that you can just extend to 8k i'm gonna go with 4k and here export export as bitmap and select that to save your desired location i'm gonna save it as you can already noticed i have four different material base color normal roughness and metallic this is all i need and i'm gonna hit export and there you have the four different texture now the last thing which which i have to do is i'm gonna add this texture in cloud 3d so this is the dress which i have made a tutorial recently just if you haven't seen just click here to watch that now i'm gonna add texture now very simple in the browser select the material here as you can see the texture the base color normal roughness and metallic which all four which i need i'm gonna drag base color into the texture map like this amazing i'm gonna drag the normal map inside of normal map just make sure to make a little bit bigger than 10 yeah it helps and as you can see the roughness by default is set in intensity go with map just drag it like this and metallic don't need this but yeah i will add because i made it something like this but this doesn't look like this why you can just change it with this tool which is edit texture 2d i'm gonna select that tool and click on any of my patterns and as you can see here this is i have the control menu and as you can see the circle is way bigger here than here i'm gonna make it smaller just click this one the middle one and smaller it will scale down all the patterns here so it maybe yeah something like that. there's another thing which is not correct the shape of the circle in here this is just straight but here like this well you can you absolutely can tweak thing here how very simple just click here and add transform 2d and select this just hold shift to rotate like this. and it will also rotate you can see here this is one choice but i won't do that because i can update this in cloud 3d oh very simple just select that this is the rotation you can rotate 360 degree so i'm gonna select i'm gonna hold shift and just rotate like 45 degrees just you have to hold this shift button and it will snap but yeah something like this so this is now like this really like another another thing that really bothers me which is this which i don't like you can see this one like it's very simple just select that and you can just change the, the the location of the circle well one thing to note if you scale it will scale all the patterns here but if you move it will only move just the selected panels so i select this so you have to select this so this is really amazing i'm gonna do something i'm gonna move somewhere so i cannot see any white circle also here don't want to see white circle and also here can so yeah that's how you can make this simple shape texture in substance designer but again there is no limit of what you can do inside of substance designer of and what people are doing in substance designer i'm really a noob and i'm teaching you this is ha huh, i'm very ashamed but anyway i hope you like this video i am not sure about it but if you did consider liking this video and subscribe my channel and i will see you in the next time bye